afternoon, this is Derek Chamblay, broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta, the next great American city, Battleground Zero, the epicenter of the 2017 civil defense of the United States of America. Still a beautiful day here in Chamblay, Atlanta, real sunny, a few clouds, and uh, it's winding up on 2.30 in the afternoon. It's still Friday. August 4th, 2017, and we've, we've got an article today uh, in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Subheadline, 6th District, and the headline, Handle Gears Up for Next Campaign. Subheadline, she begins fundraising for 2018 race. Ossoff ponders another run. It's written by Greg Bluestein. And uh, we're going to start at the top, but before we do that, we want to remind you that Chamblay, Atlanta, is the site of the 5th Congressional District of our Congressman John Lewis, who's a Democrat, who our current president says is all talk and no action. This is Derek Chamblay, Cy Radio, Cyber Citizen Network, all talk, Trump executive action. And it's also the seat of the 6th Congressional District of Georgia. And that exciting, uh, most expensive congressional uh, campaign for U.S. Congress in history uh, on the 20th of June. Karen Handel, the former Georgia Secretary of State, won by four points over John Ossoff, the Democrat. In a very tight race, actually. Uh, decided by a vote that came out of Cobb County late. And we question that. We question why, uh, historically, over the years, that Cobb County, uh, which is, is heavily uh, Republican, uh, and and the difference uh, in, the, in the Cobb County vote, when it, when it came across after it seems like the Cobb County election officials withheld their numbers until the numbers from the other counties, DeCobb and Fulton County, came in that are uh, have more of a, a Democratic vote, and the the votes released. Uh, 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 tabulated and released results from Cobb County at approximately 9.45 election night, June 20th, uh, uh, catapulted uh, Karen Handel into the, a lead that could not be overcome. And at that time, uh, CNN projected uh, that uh, Karen Handel would win. But, ah... Uh, we made a project projection the night before on June 19th that Handel wins the 6th District based on what was going on with the theft of the voting machines in Cobb County, based on prior to the November election, uh, presidential election of, of, of 2016, Homeland Security was credited with hacking the Georgia election bureaus, and there's still been no answer uh, from Washington on that one, which happened under the uh, Justice Department, Federal Election Commission, under our former president, Barack Obama, and at any rate, so we're going to take the article from the top. She was welcomed with an introduction most of the audience had never heard before. U.S. Representative Karen Handel, victor of the most expensive U.S. House contest in history, wanted to be a pro football player as a kid. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to skip down later in the article. Uh, here we go. Uh, and it's got a picture of Karen Handel, big smile and everything. And she is, uh, she's our new uh, uh, congressperson here. And uh, uh, later on in the article, she's, she's uh, basically saying she's already fundraising, uh, setting up things in Washington as well. And uh, she says that uh, the Democrats were hungry for, quote, revenge, end quote. And uh, it goes on uh, that, uh, uh, at any rate, uh, we'll, we'll pick up about uh, Ossoff here. He's, he's considering making a comeback. He's considering running again. And uh, uh, here we 
ago, uh, she could very well face a rematch against Ossoff. He's expected to announce his decision within weeks, and he's dropped hints about a comeback. And if he runs, he'll have a built-in organization, sky-high name recognition, and a donor list so voluminous it makes national candidates jealous. Oh, my. And uh, at any rate, uh, later on in, in, in the article, uh, was something interesting here. Uh, okay, we're going to pick up a quote of, of John Ossoff. He's, he's had a, a, okay, here we go. And at a recent Georgia Voice Bash where he was named, quote, best politician, unquote, by the newspaper's LGBT audience, he had sharp words for Trump, a decidedly different tone from his campaign against Handel when he was more reluctant to aggressively attack the president. This is from Ossoff, quote, in one of history's great democracies, a patriotic country that was born of resistance to foreign interference, a weak and dishonest man has cheapened the presidency and compromised the United States, unquote, Ossoff said. Quote, and he has compromised the United States in the eyes of our allies and adversaries alike, unquote. Oh, wow. There you have it from John Ossoff. And, and we want to reiterate that we fully expect the special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation to exonerate President Trump of Russia collusion and justify former FBI director James Comey. And in our other broadcast, we bring out that the, the continued focus of the Democratic leadership on the Russia, the, the Russia story and the, and the major media on the Russia story uh, without without preparing for the, the 2018 and 2020 uh, uh, re-election of uh, our current president, Donald Trump, is a waste of their focus. It's a waste of their resources. And we want to point out again, and the president pointed it out last night in a rally in West Virginia, Huntington, West Virginia, the Democrats have no vision. They have no issues. They have no agenda. And we said before, we know about the Republican and GOP agenda, where is the agenda of the Democrats? And it's it's a valid question. And and the, the, the president is calling the Russia thing fake and and and, and um, uh, fabricated uh, and things of that nature. It's just a master fake that our current president is putting on the Democratic Party and Pelosi and in and in the Senate uh, 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 Schumer of New York. All they have time to do is 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 play around with. The, the, the Russia thing and, and impeachment, and we want to reiterate our current president, Donald Trump, will not be impeached by the anti-Trump Republicans he made a great deal with just prior to the Republican uh, uh, convention in 2016. Uh, he gets the nomination. They won't strip delegates from him, and they get their Republican GOP agenda, and they get to stay in power. They get to be re-elected, and if they weren't running for re-election, they, they, uh, the president the president said it uh, about a week ago. He said uh, they rode in on his coattails, and even if they weren't running for re-election, uh, he made sure that they still had majorities in the Senate and the House. And it's time for them to go back to the drawing board, get some Democrats aboard. We mentioned that before, that the U.S. Senator of West Virginia is a Democrat, and the president has taken that state handily, and he's back doing rallies in West Virginia. And, and and the, the uh, Republican senators need a few more votes from the Democrats. Go back to the drawing board, for instance, with the health care uh, uh, plan and, and present a health care plan with, with some support from the Democrats that uh, our current president can put the Trump, the Trump brand on. Put the Trump brand on. Okay.